Hello, my dear students. Students, this, you must be aware that the syllabus for IT Code 402 for Class 10th has been changed uh, regarding Digital Documentation Unit. In this, you will be using LibreOffice Writer. And in this video, I am going you practically everything about the styles. The first chapter that is about styles. Okay, so let us start with it. So first, I have taken some uh, little a piece of sample text for you. First, you want to open the styles, the side, the side box. Okay, so you have to click on styles menu. The last option you find here that is a manage styles. Alternatively, students, you can press F11. Okay, I'm just clicking here. See here, this window has been opened for you. In this first, see there are six categories, students. First one is paragraph styles. Second is character styles. Third is frame styles. Fourth is page styles. Fifth one is list styles. And the last one is table styles. Okay. Now you see here there is fill format also. There is a mode that is fill format and it is a toggle key. Once you click it is active. See here. The cursor has been changed into this icon. Fill icon. If you want to just get rid of this icon, just click it once again. See here, it is gone, disappeared. Uh, alternatively, you can press the escape key also. Okay. For this, just press the escape key again and this is gone. See here, I press the escape key. And the last one you see here, new style from selection. It means if you select any word or piece of text and that, the, uh, that selected portion, whichever formatting it is has, it is having, it will be saved with a new style and you can save it also for further future use. Okay. Now, next, next is update selected style. Whatever selected new have created a new style. If you want to update it, you want to make some changes in it. It's also possible. And the last one is load styles from templates. Okay. So, I'm going to start with the first one that is the, you see here, there are few expanded buttons also. Okay, you see here, just you have to click on these options. Like it is having, first is, I clicked on it, then first is body text, then caption, then header and footer. Next is heading, then index and like this. Okay, last one is table contents. Okay, in this first, I'm going to select the heading. Okay, just see the heading also. I'll show you if I click on the heading, just click on this expand button. See here, different options are here. And you just keep on viewing this thing. The In this, you will really change, finding the changing also. You have to double click experience. Okay, mind it. Double click chalega, single click nahi chalega. Now, if I click on heading 2, see the size, heading 3, heading 5, like this. And you just click on title, see what happens. See here. It is centralized, centrally aligned, and the size, the biggest size. Okay. Similarly, different options are there. You can try any one of your choice. Now, I'll show you body text. In this also, you can make some changes. For example, see, this is the, suppose I take this paragraph, and in this, you want to change first line indent. I just clicked it. See here, the difference. Okay. I'll just show you once again. I'm just undoing it. Okay. First line indent, see here the change here, students. Just noted, see here the change. Okay. And hanging indent, see again the change here. You can see here. Change. And then body text indented, full body text is indented, see here. So all the three options are here. You can try all these. Okay. And uh, so if I come to the next option, that is the no character. Filhal, koi upper character style, I have not used. Suppose I click on emphasis, see here. A little change is there. Okay, I'll show you this one example. See the change here. Okay, like this. If I select this one also, and then again, you can click on emphasis. First, you have to just come out of it. I selected again. Then, see, the emphasis is, or the example is working here. Okay, so if I just, I, I'm going to just do, undoing it so what is the use of fill suppose i come to this part okay here you have wherever the cursor is a word on a word or a character suppose a cursor is here then just click on fill mode 
fill format mode. Okay, see the symbol has been changed and I'm going to slide or the mouse is hovering over this text. See here, the same formatting has been done. Okay, so this is the use of fill format mode. Now I'm going to press the escape key. So it is gone. Okay, now we come to the third part. It has many options. Formula frame is just going to show that this one, OLE, OLE object. For this, you have to insert OLE object. Okay, many options are here. You can insert the frame also. Frame is also there. See here. So I'm bus. I'm going to try here with OLE object. See here, uh, QR code or barcode can be used. So here you have to give the URL or the text. Okay, fine. I'll show you something. Suppose I go to my channel and this is the URL. I'm just copying it and pasting it here. Control B. And see the option here. QR is there. Just click on OK. So it is inserted students. So got it. So like this you can insert this thing. And you can change the position also. Okay. And uh, suppose you want to insert one more thing like uh, instead of okay value well, object instead of qr we can insert the barcode also same url i'm going to paste here but here instead of qr code you can take barcode so click on okay see here the barcode is also inserted here okay you can shift it also i'm just because text is yes now it's okay fine See here the barcode and the QR code are there and similarly you can insert more things also first deselect it go to insert then again OLE object see OLE object is there so you can insert these things also suppose I want to insert a presentation okay chart formula drawing anything you can insert spreadsheet also so I'm uh, clicking on insert presentation LibreOffice 24.2 okay and just click on it see here so whatever you are going to type here, I'm just going to minimize this window. Just click here like you work in the presentation. Like I'm going to type presentation on style. Okay. Whatever you are going to type here, it is in the form of a presentation and it will get inserted. Fine. So it is also there. You can adjust the size of the presentation here. Okay. Okay, now come to the next option. So here on the page, okay, with it is regarding the text students. Okay, now left page, right page, like suppose you want to see the, see here. Did you find the change? Did you notice it? Okay, I'll show you, not, I'll do, just click on undo it and I'll show you. Okay, see here, I'll click on landscape, just observe it see the it has been changed here now it is landscape now left page then right page is also there you can see you can make the changes like this okay now or and again the first one is of course the default page style the next option is list style for this i have taken a list suppose the list is here name of fruits okay this is the name of the list in this you can apply the bullets different type of bullets you just need to select these items of this list just click on the first option double click students mind you double click aapko click karna hai then see the changes in the style of the bullets numbering one two three numbering abc double, capital abc and so on okay fine it's very simple very clear now the next the last one is table Okay, students, I uh, copied this table from internet and there the items are the table is converted into this form, into text form. So what do I have to do? I make some changes like I'll show you what did I do uh, because I'm going to show you what I have to make some changes for get it converted into a table. Okay, now suppose I have to go here. Again, these are the headings. I'm just giving you an idea. For this, I'm using tab key students. That's the main thing I want to show you here. Again, I'm pressing the students tab key. Okay. Because I'm going to convert, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> this text into a table. Okay. So this in the, see here, I've already done for you. I've converted 
this into i'm going to convert into a form of table just now i have just used the tab key here okay after each item under each column header okay first i'm going to select it now go to table table menu is there okay click on convert convert text to table see the change now it is asking you separate text with what if i have used a tabs key i'll be selecting this is a by default selection i have used a tab key students in each and every item whether it is a heading labels or the items below that or if you have used semicolons or paragraph any other thing you can select those things but here tabs is fine with me there so i'll be giving you okay i'll be clicking on okay see here now text is converted into the table now i can use the this a default table style now just double click on any of these option see this is academic now this is blue this is green this is red this is elegant this is financial see here dollar symbol is there simple grid columns grid rows so many options are there okay so and one more thing uh, in the table also first i'm going to here like like table in this also you can change the it's a table uh, like it's heading also okay in the last you can see here table contents in the first option i'm here table heading i'm going just going you click on table heading see here it has been centrally centrally aligned okay so these options are all done for you fill already told you fill format mode now i'm going to tell you how you can create a new style from selection okay so okay first i have to get rid of this thing now suppose this is the matter i'm going to select okay so new style form selection i have selected this piece of text now it is asking me this small pop up menu comes up and it asking you to enter new style name suppose i want to type it as a uh, new style for paragraph okay see now see you have to see in this side window see here new style for paragraph it has been added here this is a new style i have created just now okay so for this i if i make some changes so i made some changes now i want to add the new which one i have created just now so where do you find it where have you find it just you have to click on it and it is done for you okay next is if you want to update the selected style if you want to change the selected style that is also possible for you you have to click just click on it and it is changed for you whichever new select new style you had created it will be changed for you okay so these are the all options given to you so this is the first option like i show you the new style the new style for paragraph okay so if you want to edit it just right click it and edit style if you want to edit it you can make some changes here okay now from here you can change the size drop caps transparency indent and spacing everything edit style just make the changes here and click on edit style and then click on okay okay so here if i makes want to make some changes here i can select the changes and click on double click on new style for paragraph see the changes have been done for me okay friends i hope you must have found it very interesting and see and easy also and in the similar way i'll be um, very soon i'll be publishing more videos on this topic like uh, on libre uh, regarding images also okay so keep watching I hope you must have enjoyed learning with me okay take care bye bye